Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and as you can see, I wear glasses, and they are bifocals. And because of that, I like to have extra glasses that are dedicated to certain projects that I want to do. And because I need more than one for the different projects that I choose, I have found that it's easier for me to buy them online. And I go to readers.com. It is a site where I can put my face shape in and I can choose what kind of glasses I want. It gives me lots to choose from and I'm able to get them all at one time. Now because I have many different projects, I need different lens strengths. I wear my prescription glasses mostly. However, if I want that lens to have a bigger surface, that's where I like to have my readers. The glasses are designed so that you are going to be reading a book at about 12 inches. Now that works great if I'm working on the sewing machine or I'm reading, but I still want to have a bigger lens so that I see a bigger clear surface. So the glasses that I choose have the full lens of my reading prescription. That way I can see the entire surface that I'm quilting or all of the book at the same time. It just makes it a little bit easier for my eyes. Now, if I'm going to be doing some needlework where it's going to be really up close, then I need to add a quarter strength of what I normally have. So when I'm doing needlework that is close, that whole lens is going to be at that level. If I'm going to be on my computer or I'm going to do hand sewing, the distance is different. The distance to my computer is about 20 inches, which happens to be the same if I'm sitting and sewing something on my lap. Unlike a book, I do not want to hold the project up. I find it very tiring, especially if I have a large quilt that I'm doing the binding. I want it to sit right on my lap and I want to stitch from there. So then I needed to subtract about half from my prescription because I don't need it as strong. The further I went down, the less I needed. So I have a pair of glasses that I can see the entire computer screen and my entire work surface. Now, last year I did burn my eyes. I was outside reading and the reflection between the paper and the sun went right through the lens of my glass and burnt my eyes. I do not want to make that mistake again. And when I read outside, it's very tiring. So I'm able to get my sunglasses from there. Now these sunglasses are bifocals, so I can get and use them for more reasons than just reading. Now if you don't like the dark tint on glasses, you can get a lighter tint. The tint does not change the protection of the glasses. All it does is change the tint. There was another pair of glasses that I thought I would share with you that they do have on their site. They are makeup glasses. So the lenses change and they flip up and down. So you're able to put the makeup on with the one and flip and put the makeup on with the other. And they have a pair where the lens flips from one side to another. While I'm traveling, this is going to go in my travel bag. I keep the glasses that I'm going to use for most of my sewing projects together. It's a great case. It fits two glasses. I can keep this by my sewing machine or I can put it in the living room where I have a sewing chair. So it's great and I keep them together so I know where they're going to be. My computer glasses I leave right by my computer and I keep my sunglasses in a good strong container so that I can throw them in my purse and I'm not worried about them getting broken. Now when I ordered from this company they gave me a thank you card with a little discount code on it and they've been generous enough to share the discount code with you. So if you're wanting to try out the glasses you can go to readers.com and type in so 20 and you're going to get a discount. Now I'll put a link in the description to the website and the discount so you can check them out for yourself. So now I have the right glasses for the dedicated job that I want to do. 
Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.